Greetings! It's me, Baby Knock, and the patch notes are live! And I cannot wait to read through these. Obviously, new fighter coming out, Beetlejuice. You can get it for Gleamium and a character ticket, and we'll be able to purchase the fighter currency in three days. Oh, okay, I see what they're doing there. So that you, you gotta buy it with Gleamium for the little early access. All fighters will be available in local game modes. That's really not Netcode updates, performance improved during periods of low client frame rate. Nice, there's times where I had like 100 frames, but it, f it felt like I was on 30 frames. So I don't know if that's what it'll fix. I don't know if anyone else experienced that. Server better handles periods of packet loss. Fixed handling of input delay incurred from high ping. Clients have better handling for staying in line with the server. <laughs> I <laughs> I really hope this means I don't disconnect. Server inputs input overrides will return the player to neutral quicker. Should address the issues where lag spikes are causing players to run off the map. Okay, that's happened a few times. Friends list is now sorted alphabetically. That'll help. The Ghost of the Toast PvE is now available. So this is number three. There's and the Crisis in Townsville Rift has been added and will unlock later in the season. So that's in two weeks, I assume. So it does look like crazy is the uh, event. Insanity is only on Insanity and only this event, event is on insan in Insanity. Holy shit! Speak the words, Crazy Knock. So there's that. Also, we have the new event. We've got the new event store here. I'm sure you guys saw it before, but man, it all looks freaking beautiful right now. Mmm, these skins look so freaking good. Jason's is particularly man they look like a lot better in game they're like a lot more detailed and deep colors that i can tell oh man this looks so good we'll just go through them all really quick Ooh, wee, that's good i think superman looks ridiculous but i love it i don't even care i love it fantastic get the bugs bunny out of my face Dude, Taz is really good. Oh, even the tongue like glows green. Oh man, that is so good. It's good. It's good. Oh nice, and he has the uh, Beetlejuice neon one. So it looks like they fixed a few bugs with rifts. All right, so a little a few bugs with rifts. That's fine. Bots are now more likely to pick up and throw items. Okay. Bubble movement changed. Jump pads now launch players. Electric fences now have a warning phase before damage shock. Fireballs no longer apply stacks of ignite. Teen Titans power, uh, tower map has been added to the game and there's different variants. The 1v1, the 2v2 for ranked, and then there, I think there's the free for all kind of fun version. And look at that, we got the new ranked mode version on 1v1. And it's gonna be in ranked as well. Game of Thrones is ranked as well, uh, but there's no walls. And we hit the button, there's a rage mode button. And then it turns into a big platform, which is kind of cool. All maps upper blast zone grace area has been extended 50%. This should help players from accidentally jumping in a ring out while trying to escape. All right. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like they should be punished for jumping out like that, but maybe it'll feel a little better. Walls are no longer there at the start of the match. No longer has wall floor transition. Yes, dude. I love throne room. It's my favorite map. But there's not going to be a wall, so it's going to be very simple. That's okay, though. The map is so beautiful. Remove bounce pad trees. Oh, my God. Thank you. They're so bugged. Yeah, I could use ice on it. I don't fly all the way to the top and die. And I don't install. Water tower. Center fall through platform and door has a raise on all variants to address bad interactions. Main variant of 1v1 added back to their nice. Ranked mode changes. They did go over this a little bit. But let's take a look. So they basically added Grandmaster rank back. So all characters qualify for Grandmaster. The top 100, star, 100 highest RP. So if I have crazies for the ranked, I think they misspoke or either they changed it immediately. The, main, the way they made it seem is ranked was added a be, between all characters to where if I had 3,000 on Superman, but this guy had 3,000 on Taz and then 3,000 on Batman. It seemed like that would add up to 6,000 RP for him to get Grandmaster. So it seemed like one tricks were out of, were just screwed. But that, that that is not the case. I'm at the top 100 leaderboard right now. And all the way, scroll down to 100. 
This person has 3684 RP with this character. So I'm pretty sure it's just the highest. They meant all characters are viable and it's the highest ranked character throughout that lineup. For you to be a Grandmaster, you have to be 3684. You have to beat that. So that is a huge relief because that was so dumb to where I thought I would never get it because they were forcing us to play other characters. So huge W, huge W. So here's a new uh, leaderboard that shows the players that have reached the Masters tier with the most characters. Okay, that's kind of cool. Players can now choose to concede a ranked match. Now I really hope that if you concede, this counts as a loss as if you lost the second match, in my opinion. Otherwise, it's going to ruin the integrity of the ranked matches. Players can now be immediately promoted out of bronze and silver if they win a game with high MMR. That is really good. There's now less difference in RP rewards between gold 5 and platinum 5. So it looks like you probably gain more RP in those rankings. Potential RP loss per game now capped at all tiers. Silver and gold players can no longer lose more than one game worth of RP for a loss. Well, what is one game? Why aren't why are they telling us what what does that mean? What is one game? Plus eight, plus three, plus twelve, plus sixteen, plus twenty-five. The Grand Master banner. Maybe we'll try to go for it. Not sure. Look at the peppers! General combat changes and attempt to reward more offensive gameplay. We did go over this yesterday in my other video, but if you dodge attack, it takes less. So you can actually do four before you're on burnout, technically dodge landing so if you dodge you have to be at a certain distance from above the ground but if you do that it takes one and it gives you a little bit of movement option mainly it's gonna be used off the edge to get movement speed so if i like just fall off the edge and try to jump to you it's a little bit worse it's kind of hard to get used to because i need to get used to it as well and you can do this off ledge as well So you kind of can just keep your momentum. See, he gets the tech window. So if there's a true instance where he does double pogo stick on you, then you can do the tech and roll left and right out of it. So stuff like that's gonna be, all those combos are gonna be a little bit better. Basically, if I fly into Joker as he's doing a jab and we trade, like he almost did right there, my fly going into him is always gonna take priority over his jab, only when we trade though. And it happens more often than you'd think. Base dodge fatigue time, Increases to 10 seconds from 8 seconds. Uh, when you're on the wall, spending 5 seconds will start fatigue instead of 8.5. Uh, so after you cling to the wall 2 times instead of 4, it'll begin to slide faster. Maximum wall fatigue after 8 consecutive wall clings down from 12. So you really want to get up on the stage faster. No clinging to the wall. No clinging to the wall. No clinging to the wall, Jeff. Get over here. Look at these patch notes. Look at him. I see them. Oh my God, it's so insane. Oh. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. End the game and mission del damage dealt stats were inaccurate. Nice. Now we get to see how much damage I really do. Everyone's saying I don't only do 60 damage. It's not true, Jeff. It's not fucking true. Look at this damage. 80, 100, 120, 180, 260 at least. 300. <laughs> Stop crying. Clear the air perk. Reflecting a projectile now increases the projectile speed. All right, that's good. I think you should repel a projectile by default. I think it'd be cool if this one did it. Oh, reflecting does speed and creates two of them or something. Because there's a lot of deep benefit from pairing an attack. Overall, good change to the general perk. All right, now we're into the buffs and characters. I'm gonna, I'll try to read through it and then give my summary without going through, you know, like, oh, here, 3.8 frames where you can move and then do an upper special and then freaking down to left, three, right, eight, a 45 degree angle, you know, like some, some, some of the stuff is not easy for me to understand. So like a casual player, it's like, what are you even talking about? And crazy, I won't be going ever through everything of the patch notes. I'll let you guys read it through yourselves because there's a lot of in intricacies and minute details that are kind of annoying. I'm just trying to give you the general senses of what to expect. Superman got no changes. I tested it on the other map. The lasers don't work still. Uh, I didn't get nerfed. Agent Smith just got his clone fixed. Nothing changes or down tilts, but I'm pretty sure if you do this over and over, she gets lockout frames, the down tilt. Also, her charge attack doesn't do as much knockback. Also, repeating moves on this one as well has the repeat move lockout. 
This cancel, when you hit it, you can cancel out of it faster to follow up with another attack. Down special, so I can't cancel it right here. What if I hit? There we go. So if you actually hit it, I can cancel out of it. For Batman. See, see after three seconds, it didn't follow him anymore and his battering went away. Also, I think if I die, the battering also dies. I don't think it did that before. Oh wow, there's a lot of startup on that. That actually might make it so we can spam. You can cancel all of it, but the startup on that is increased. That's basically the main changes. Uh, Black Adam literally just changed the weight. That's it. Bugs Bunny changed the hitbox. That would like almost normally hit before. So just, they made that side air a little bit better. Uh, oh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I emphasize on a little bit. Also, his rocket is not a techable surface. Finn got a lot of changes. He can't hold this for as long. That's as long as you can hold it. You know how you can hold it longer. One, one, this is to be... Yeah, it's 1.5 seconds. Also, this doesn't require momentum anymore. Or does it... You don't get momentum. Like, you see, I, I can tell I can falling down like a very a lot easier. Can't hold that as long as well. Um, speed boost will last a lot longer. And this one you can't hold like at all. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Like that sounds seems like it says it's lowered it from 40 to 1.25. That seems longer than 1.25. And, and I, if I whiff, longer cancel time. That's basically it for Finn. Still getting disconnects. Still getting disconnects, even with the naked improvements, by the way. So the active duration and uh, the size hitbox increase. So the startup is faster. And the first hitbox on this is reduced. Oh my god, dude. Fucking Christ! God damn it, dude. Not the disconnect still. Hey, maybe since I can forfeit the match, it won't count as a disconnect in ranked mode anymore. Gizmo can't hold his arrow forever anymore. So it looks like he can put it away, though. When it's on fire. On hit cancel window delayed a few frames. So if you hit, they can't immediately go into another move. And when they hit, knockback is more horizontal, not straight up in the air. And But the knockback is increased. See how they want more horizontal there. That that alone might make it better so that you get knocked out immediately. Harley Quinn, basically her dash attack will just hit more consistently. Also, her up air this will be more in tune to actually it'll be a little bit smaller, more in tune with their hitboxes, basically. But this is unchanged, this one. So when you're out of fuel on this attack, it, there's less knockback. When before, it almost acts like there's more knockback with no fuel. Also, I don't want to get rage mode, but when he's in rage mode and he does rockets over and over, the delay frame between repeating moves is 24 frames instead of 17. So, and then you'd also like stomp as well over and over. It'll be a little bit more delay, so you have an opening. It's going to be really dangerous with the wall fatigue to go on the edge. during his, look how fast wall fatigue is now. It'll be very dangerous to go on the edge now when he's in rage about it. Might, you might just have to try to deal with it on the stage, trying to run back and forth. But now I do not get energy back until I start landing. And it recovers later. It recovers later, like two seconds later. Look how slow that is. That's a compensation for giving us more dodge backs. Basically when Jake, Jake eats his teammate and spits him out, armor is reduced how long as also if my teammate is grab like if i'm doing a fly grab if i grab up special with superman and he eats me while i'm doing that it will cancel it before it would just continue it they're still looking at jake for quality of life stuff jason when he grabs in the air he now has armor oh i think sometimes when you get hit with this you would activate like a ground bounce so that doesn't happen the resurrection perk they fix bugs but that's it those two more, this this right here, they made it combo into itself. The jab one and two, one, two, a lot better. The land cancel window, it's when you land. 
that's a little bit sooner. Air down special. This startup right here used to be a lot slower. They reverted the change. Faster now. And they were saying it because he won gold. <laughs> the Olympics. All right, buddy. Marvin, he changed to an ass from assassin to a mage. <laughs> and all that changed with Marvin, they made all small characters, including gizmos, uh, to where projectiles will hit his head. So his hitbox or his hurt box for his head is bigger. Morty with his up air. The cancel window, the frames is smaller. So if you hit them, the cancel window after you hit them is four frames. So there's just a small delay after you hit them, but if you miss them, it's double to eight frames. And this is a bigger hitbox, it's better match visuals, the down air, a fist. And now he's a mage instead of a bruiser. <laughs> uh, it's just like they don't even know what they're doing. Uh, Rain Dog, nothing changed, just a fix where his fireball wouldn't hit sometimes. But basically his first jab is a lower hitbox. And there's a lot of whiff on it as well. So if they go up and to miss, that's an opportunity to go and hit them. For sure, that's the biggest thing. But his, if he hits you, the second one, the rocket got buffs and the second jab got buffs. Um, this one, more more combos easier into the second hit because a lot of times they're like miss. That's nice. Uh, this is advanced. Like it will blow up sooner and faster. That's really it. So if you hit someone with the side special, there's uh, the cancel frames are longer. Not if you do this into the skis, those are the same. Hitbox duration is increased and hitbox is increased for this move. I don't know why it needed a hitbox increase, but all right. Me Seeks is a little bit faster coming out and the hitbox is increased. Uh, hitbox size reduced for Me Seeks Fly, but it has more hits done. Um, they reduced backwards momentum on this ability. I didn't really notice that. Now this should show a timer on the debuff. Okay, there's a timer on the debuff at the top. That's nice. Samurai Jack. Let's see if this hits. A little bit better on... How did that even hit? Usually that kind of would hit. Doesn't hit as much. And more whiff for missing. That hitbox is also in, uh, the same treatment as the first one. If I miss the first slice on the empowered version, I miss all the other ones as well. This gives no armor. And if you grab on the right, you cannot throw left and vice versa. Also the up air, if you do it over and over, a repeat move lockout. So you can't just keep doing it over and over. Shaggy. Uh, Shaggy's rage only lasts 12 seconds instead of 25. And also, if Superman is doing his armor, it will not break any armor on any of his special attacks. That's it. This better represents the visual of where it's hitting. It's still going to be an insane hitbox, but hopefully it's a tiny bit better. Uh, startup window for this is longer. Fall acceleration reduced as well. And hitbox when landing is reduced a little bit as well. And air on hit cancel window is delay delayed a little bit so you can't immediately go into something else. That's basically it on Steven. Uh, base cooldown removed for the bomb. It's almost like he has two charges now. So now he has it up again. Ammo, but the ammo is reduced to 12.5 from 15 seconds. That's it. All they did with Joker is reduce the size of this. As you can tell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, buddy. Velma had a lot of options changed. Wow! Holy crap, Velma main. Uh, stronger jab, like more startup and stuff on everything. More hitbox. Scaling of the knockback is more, but it's less knockback overall. More damage. Uh, the charged one is less knockback. Uh, if you dodge a speech bubble, it will stop homing to you. Like if you hit him and then you have like those bubbles and you dodge one, it will stop going to you. Mystery machine hitbox is low priority. So that, yeah, this move has been completely revamped to actually be a combo starter to where this actually hits you, which is really fun and a cool idea. I like that a lot. Vertical movement is increased for this. So you could probably easier combo it into a up air. Uh, spawn location in our book is closer, so that way you don't whiff it on your teammate. Now when the book is on cooldown, it actually comes out and it can act as a bo book hitbox. Which is kind of neat, it actually comes out pretty fast. That's probably all the changes of Velma. Uh, some cool stuff added to her kit. 
And last but not least, Wonder Woman. Down special right here where you go to your teammate and give armor. It only lasts 2.25 seconds instead of 3.7. And then when you whip them, whip your teammate, it's only 0.5 seconds instead of 2.25. So a lot less armor going out. I think that's going to overall help. Even though th like this huge, like look at this hitbox, man. None of that got nerfed. You know what? We can be happy about the armor. Taz got changed to an assassin. There was no Tom and Jerry changes, no Superman, one rain dog bug fix. And then of course we have Beetlejuice and maybe just some bug fixes on Agent Smith's clone. And that's it guys, that's basically it. I'll have the link to the description of the patch notes down below, but I wanted to just go over it visually so that way you guys can kind of get an idea without reading the, oh my God, the long, just mind numbing patch notes. Cause there's like, oh, two frames. But if you want the details, cause sometimes I do like that, seeing that, they're gonna be down below. That's it. What? Not a single Superman change. What is that? Not a single Superman change. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, where's fucking Superman? Where is he? Huh? Where is he? <laughs> Mother Huh, oh, you gonna tell me or not? Uh, I, don't, I don't know where he is, I don't know. <laughs> You're kidding me, seriously. And crazies, that's it. I did my best to visually show you kind of what the patch notes are. Um, I'll definitely have it in the description below if you guys want to see more details, but that's mainly it. A lot of stuff we covered in the yesterday's video as well, so I'll have that in the end of the outro. The crazies, thank you all so much for watching. You know what? Love you guys very much. And with that, I hope you guys enjoy the patch. And from that, I say good day and goodbye. Goodbye, crazies. Goodbye, crazies. Love you, crazies. Love you.